Sorry, Grampy, I bought some more flan. Miss! 37 grams of sugar. Why did the doctor prescribe this? Miss! Oh my... Salutations, everyone. My name is Free Cat, and welcome to The Caregiver. This is a horror game made by Chillis Art, the creators of Akamanto and Yukiana. So, um, yeah, there's a collector's card in this. So I guess we're going to be looking for a bunch of cards. So we'll keep an eye out on that. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and check out what this game's about. I haven't read up on the description, so... I'm just assuming it's just something about an occupation. Alright. Tomita Sashi. What just happened? Or I have no idea what just happened. The game just kicked me out for no reason. I think it's because I've been absent from Let's Plays for so long that I'm starting to have a lot of technical difficulties. Having a lot of equipment just corroding, building up some dust and all that. So we're going to go ahead and actually play the game now. So we are in... somewhere. Hello. Naomi's sleeping again. She's always liked this recently. I guess being new really gets to you. Don't worry, Naomi. I was like that too when I started. Someone should tell her that she should be sleeping on the wall with her head on the wall instead of on the table like this. I think that's actually kind of bad for your neck. It's not as bad as like tech neck and all, but it could still be bad for your neck. Oh, we found a card. <laughs> Bot. Coot. All right. Let's see. I'm going to assume that there's a card in each room. So in this case, there's probably going to be a card in here, too. That's going to be useful for something, right? I can't open this. So I have a feeling we're going to have to deal with this later on. Okay. So it has a little white dot to show you that there is something that you have to pick up. So maybe that could... No, it probably doesn't apply to the cards. Oh, wait. I spoke too soon. Maybe that's a card. <laughs> Cat. Anywho. Got a lot to talk about. You know, as far as spring break goes. As far as, like, my career and all that. So, yeah. As I'm uh, searching through these cards, I'll talk about all that. So it's currently spring break right now. Not going the way that I planned. Like, I originally planned to go to Red Top Mountain, which is a place where I caught Celebi. I forgot what episode that was in Food Cat Diets. Just gotta go out there, revisit, take trails that I have not taken. There's another card. And, uh... I'm also gonna bring my Itachiko Shabuki Pot. So it's basically... You can cook on the go. As if you have a stove on the go, which is really cool. Uh, it just shipped today, so I'm not really sure when that's going to come in. It's time. I better hurry. Alright, time for what? Heading out? Yes. What to Suichi's? Oh? I just got a call from his daughter to come over. Said it was some sort of emergency. Alright. It's already late. Just get everything you need now. And go home after you get the job done. I'll let the boss know. Thanks, Rosako. Oh. And wake Naomi up before you leave. She's sleeping in the break room again. Again? She is a hard worker. Oh, and did you know? Know what? I found this while I was running a little background check of her. I heard she was thrown away. And left in the tunnel in the middle of the forest when she was born. She was eventually found, though, by a couple of urban explorers. The police couldn't find who the child was or where she came from. That's crazy. Yeah. I couldn't believe my eyes. Luckily, she was very soon adopted by a welcoming family. I could see that. Look where she is now. A kind-hearted individual will take on her job very serious. And she's a really nice girl. I thought you were in a hurry. 
You guys are chatting for like two minutes straight now. But she seems off sometimes. Is it just me? Off? Yeah. She kind of motionless sometimes. Remember like when I when a patient passed away, she Huh. Let's not talk bad behind someone's bed, Wasako. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Jeez. Kept the conversation going long enough. Anywho, so that was an interesting story about Naomi. So she's probably going to be an important character later on in the game. Anywho. Some weird hands. Why does her hands do that? <laughs> That's so weird. Anywho. Oh, there's a card. Yep, spring break is not going the way that I'd hope. I am on D-Load though, meaning that I'm basically not really doing any exercises right now. This dark already? Well, I am doing exercises, but very lightly. Not until failure. I train all the calisthenics all the time, trying to learn more advanced stuff. Ah, uh, let's see if there's a card back here. Oh yeah. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> Anywho. I wasn't expecting that reference. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are some heavy lights. Oh, there's another one. Emo anime boy. Anywho. Oh yeah, speaking of the whole child predator game. If you keep making comments about that, I'm just gonna mark you as spam. Like, that's not my top priority. My top priority is to become a certified personal trainer. Like, that's just a side project. I will get to that eventually, but it's just not now, because I'm super busy with the whole personal trainer sort of stuff right now. Alright, cool. We got a lucky cat. Or a superhero cat. Looks like an amalgamation of two. Anywho. Got those. I doubt there's anything on these side of the walls. It'd be really heinous if the Chillis Art Brothers did that. Yeah, I'm not gonna check. Uh, let's see. Can't access that. Same vending machine. I'm really surprised how loud my PC is when I already cleaned it. I guess I can't handle large games like this. It's like two gigabytes. I see one. We're doing pretty good at finding these. I guess we can call that the Coroni card or something. Alright. I doubt there's gonna be one there. Can't go that way, okay. So yeah. I think I've already mentioned the whole child predator stuff. Um, spring break, got that out of the way. Ooh yeah, anime weekend. That's actually happening this year. These are so good. <laughs> oh, there's like another one like right next door. How are we finding these so easily? I thought they'd do a better job at hiding these. I'm glad they don't. I don't know if I'll be able to find them all. Do I have a flashlight? Oh, we that's a flashlight. Are you kidding me? That's seriously... okay. So that's the inventory, and the inventory contains a flashlight, but you're not actually given a flashlight to you. Okay, now that's nefarious. Yeah, something tells me there's no card here. I mean, we already found like two cards next to each other. What else was I gonna talk about? I mean, as far as Let's Plays go... I mean, that's gonna go slow. I mean, I'm doing skits for like each one now. It's actually a lot of fun doing those. But it takes a lot of uh, planning for it. So that's why it took so long to have this video out. Because I meant to have this video out like a couple of days ago. But I was trying to plan out how I was gonna do the skit. Anywho. I don't think I'm seeing any more cards as far as this goes. Really surprised. 
It's only those two cards? Oh wait, no, there's one. Is that it? Hopefully it doesn't pull like the whole next door thing again. Alright. Down here. Oh. <laughs> Dog. Not even one there? That could have easily been one right there. Alright, so that's not the right way. Up this really shady hill. Alright, look on the side for each one. I can't see anything. This looks super dark. There's no way I'm going to be able to see a card anywhere from here. Hopefully the frames aren't dropping. I don't think my computer is handling it very well. Yeah, it's not handling this very well. It's going freaking 30 frames per second when I set it to 60. Hopefully I didn't skip a card. This is not the right way. So is this it? Hello? Hmm, maybe they're busy. I'm gonna go in, okay? Something feels very sus here. There's definitely gotta be some cards in here. Such as here. Aha! And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and continue looking around outside before I continue going in. Because I don't know if we're in, like, in any serious danger. Well, it's a good thing I went out here, then. There's a card right there. Yeah, there might be something, like, on the sides of the house. So, yeah, we will continue scavenging around. Nothing there. You can actually look through here, huh? There's, like, nobody home. Yep, no card. Suichi? Don't scare me like that. What? Oh. It's you. It's just an old man in a wheelchair. Trying to pull off a freaking Street Dreams reference. I mean, this is his backyard, right? They expected me to come back here. Considering that they did that jump scare. Uh, this feels very suspicious, yep. Alright, nice. What's next? I can't even see anything. There's gotta be one here. There's like cards laying around everywhere. I cannot believe I'm using the inventory feature to see if there's any cards. Uh... This looks accessible. Get your grip strength in. Pull that out. I mean, I don't see like a little tiny dot, so... Probably nothing there. At least not now. Not really sure how long I'm gonna keep playing this. Like, I am sleepy. I've stayed up all night. That's how it is when it comes to like making Let's Plays too. Well, like, when I plan to do a Let's Play, I always stay up all night. But when I'm not doing Let's Plays, I actually sleep really early. It's kind of what I hate about doing this as a hobby. Okay, idiot. Yep, I am totally lost now. Oh. What's this? Ooh. What's that? Can I get that? That might be a card. Maybe there's a key somewhere? Alright, no card in the mailbox, so... I'm surprised there's no card in the mailbox out of all places. But yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and look around here. Oh yeah, did I mention my Takiko? My Shabuki pot. That's what that's reminding me of. I can't wait to cook in that thing. Probably gonna do it when I go out to Red Top Mountain. What am I gonna cook? I'm not really sure. Like, I'm just gonna test it out first. Any cards here? 
I'm surprised I don't have any hidden cards around here. Yeah, no cards. Huh, that's shocking. Alright. Nothing there. What is this smell? Um, a clean folded cloth? It won't open. There's a plank that's stuck. I guess... Suichi doesn't want to take a shower? Oh, hello, we got a reflection. So yeah, that's meant to be super hard in development. But I don't know, I'm an amateur when it comes to game development, so... I don't know too much about all of that. There was one. <laughs> Cartoon. Alright, so here is CBT. What is up? Ah, uh, Suichi-san. Don't scare me like that. Why didn't you say anything? What happened to your family? Are they all out? Hey, are you okay? Suichi-san? He doesn't look up. Oh, he's like super pale. <laughs> I guess that's what the folded cloth is for. Even after years of doing this job, I still can't get used to doing this something. Oh, wait, what? I still can't get used to something like this. I need something to wipe it off. Also, coming back to Let's Plays, I don't think my lungs are used to it either. I do have very sensitive lungs. So it actually hurts to talk right now. <laughs> yeah, I probably should take a break soon. Let my lungs recover. Anywho, gonna keep on looking around for these cards. I don't see any cards around here. Is that... yeah, that's one. Yeah, no surprise that he has a card like that here. This could have been a good spot to hide one. You wouldn't think to open that door. Okay, so... No more cards? Yep, I guess no more cards. I'm not sure why I look this way. It's like a little cutscene there. And why do I not have a flashlight? Why do I have to rely on the inventory as a flashlight? <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything useful here. Let me go out here. This place looks like it would be plentiful. As far as like cards would go. Wow, you disappoint me. I haven't spotted a card anywhere. Hmm. Maybe there's a card behind the TV? Nope. But in this room. Like, it really doesn't help that I have to need to see inventory to do all this. Alright. What? Get rid of trash? Alright, we are getting rid of the trash. <laughs> if nobody cleans this, then I will call the police. That smell again. It's getting stronger. Hmm. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to go around to get that, uh. Ah, ha, ha. Two cards in this area. And there was one right here. Yeah, there we go. What's with all these clocks? Seem like the same one over and over. Let's see. Nothing. And nothing. What's up? Who's that behind her? Rip Sashi? The next day. Kuramoto and the Ami. I guess that number indicates their age. So she's 22. And Sashi was 26. 
Alright, so I'm not gonna scavenge around the same spots again. Like, I doubt they're gonna leave something new. I mean, those are new. Backpack. Info about Suichi. Alright, age 23. I mean, age 83. Male. 56 kilograms, 170 centimeters. Low blood sugar. Feed flan on two meals a day. Feed him flan? Relaxes when bathing. Should bathe every day. Strong dislike for getting out of home. Ask for reasons. I, I guess he's been sedentary his whole life, and he's used to having chronic diseases. Very forgetful as of late. Watch out for symptoms of dementia. Comment. Occasional discomfort. Signs of frustration and pain. Prescribe opiates if necessary. Alright. So I will keep all that in mind. Well, speaking of all that... Okay, nothing's popped up here. I mean, it talks about prescribing opiates, so I expected to use that medicine cabinet. So what's up? Hey, Niami. What's wrong, senpai? There's a grandpa I want you to take care of. Hmm, who could that be? It's Suichi. Shachi Chung can't be in charge of him anymore, so you can go in her stead? Sure thing, but... What happened to Sachi san Oh, don't worry. It's probably about a relationship. She does this time to time. She isn't getting younger, you know. She's like four years younger than you. Okay. Including myself, that is. I mean, four years older. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Anyhow, Soichi needs you. Um, do you think I'll be fine? I've never been to a patient's house before, by myself. Well, we're short on people. I know it's hard, but we have to do our best and go with what we have. I left his information on your desk. Alright, I'll do my best. Alright. I mean, I already got the info, so we're just gonna go straight to his house. I doubt there's anything new, and if there is something new, then my bad. I'll probably replay to see if there's any new cards left around. But aside from that, we're just going to go ahead and go straight to him. But just in case, I'm just going to skim through all this real quick. Make sure that we see any sort of little white dots. Or is that... Oh, I thought that was a statue. <laughs> You have a good soul. Huh? You really do. I can feel it from years of being a monk. Well, I haven't done much in life yet. It does not matter. I see that you follow the way. Visit our temple sometime. With the level of conscience you have, you should feel at home. Okay, I'll think about that. Please do. Something's giving off, like, protagonist vibes out of this now. So whatever happened to Sashi? I mean, according to Rasoki, whatever her name is, she's still alive? Or she's been cloned. I'm not really sure. Suichi-san, anyone home? Looks like it's open. You're gonna do a jump scare on me again? I'm not gonna go in the backyard. Well, that's new. We didn't see that before. Interesting. So maybe they have added some new things. Alright, well, that's done. Yeah. Rusted tin box. Seems like a key won't fit from the rust. So what do you want me to do about it? It won't open. There's a plank that's stuck. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to bathe. I mean, he urinated in himself. Oh, there you are. What you smoking? <laughs> Hello, Suichi-san. How are you? I'm Naomi. Sachi has been very busy lately. I'll be taking care of you from now on. 
Man, you're smoking something crazy. I'm hearing something on the inside of you. Oh no, that's coming from somewhere else. Is that the television? Sounds like a television. That it is. I don't know what channel who's tuning into. <laughs> Okay. Why is there a paper clip? <laughs> what? The paper clip could be for the tin box. Like, there's no other reason for it. Like, what else are you gonna use it for? School? There's no school relied on. What? I mean, they're in their 20s. They're not gonna talk about school. Unless they're talking about college, but I highly doubt that. Alright. Free bird meat. But you know, the paper clip's more important. Then we'll go ahead and use this paper clip and um open up this tin box. Or how I called it back in the day. Tinker box. Well, that's pretty annoying back then. I cannot wait for anime week in Atlanta. It's actually happening this year. It's not like Anime Expo. They actually canceled that this year. And it was so soon, too. But Anime Week in Atlanta, that's not happening until fall. I'm sorry? Oh, that's a ladder. Maybe I could find a way to take it down? Not sure why that's not in the shed, but um, I guess we'll follow along. Let's see... Shed was over here, right? No. There it is. Oh yeah, while we're here, we can see what was glowing over here before. Let's see. Nice. I can't see well in the dark. Well, you can see well now. Come on, don't BS me. There was a flashlight right here. I'm okay. So I have two flashlights now. So now I can go ahead and pick up whatever we were trying to pick up. We couldn't see before. It looked like some sort of stick. But now we should be able to see it and uh, carry off with our task. There you go. Yes, we're going to pick up that tool. And I guess we're going to use this to take down the ladder. And, um... I could have sworn I saw some markings of a ladder somewhere. I think it might have been where Suichi was on the first day. I'll check again. Hopefully I'm right. I like that it slows down your stamina. That's logical. Anywho... Yeah, I think right down here. Yeah, right here. Pretty cool that it has those markings to show you that you need the ladder for this. Kind of a dilapidated one. Alright, flashlight. There's gotta be a card in here. 100%. Right here. Any other ones? It's gonna be hard to spot. I don't know, maybe not. Stool? What do we need a stool for? Alright, I guess that's it. I don't see any other cards. Oh no, that's just a flashlight. <laughs> Thought I saw another card. Okay, so the stool's for this? Yes it is. I can see that a plank is blocking the bathroom door. I need to find something that can budge it down. Why does that have to be in bold? It's too hard for me, so I need something to step on as well. Well, you're already clear in the making for that.
So far, this game has been really easy going in comparison to like a Commando and Yukiana, which I like. I feel like those games are a little too harsh. Yes, some people just pass by with the uh, Suichi san. So we gotta go check up on him. Maybe they went to go get the boiling water. Gonna eat some Raymond noodles. <laughs> or maybe not. But he went this way. Did I miss it? Hmm. It's good at playing hide and seek, that's for sure. What? What are you doing out there? How'd you get past me? He is a ghost, isn't he? That explains why there's smoke around him. I mean, he's either like a huge smoker or he's a ghost. Kind of theorizing it there. Let's get you inside. <laughs> he's naked. I'll go get it. Okay, that's creepy. Someone's knocking on the door, but the door is already open. Thanks, delivery driver. Whoever's driving this is probably a ghost. I think we live in a ghost town. Okay, so. Got a package. Open it up, Suicha san. Sorry to bother you. I received a package just now. I'm going to leave it on the kitchen table, okay? Alright. I'll go ahead and do that. His business. Don't need to be nosy. Alright. And now... Take him to bed? Yeah, sure. He didn't quite do much as far as, like, taking a bath goes. <laughs> Maybe you would just water down that urine. Not sure what those sounds are. And go out. Now, there's something off about this man. Looking super pale. He looks like he has spider webs all over his face. Like, what's up with that? And now... Okay, so since Suichi-san went to sleep, I'm also going to get my sleep as well since I've been up all night. So, I'm going to go ahead and transition this and uh, we'll continue off later on. You stand still, put a black dot on your nose. Hey, Risako-san. I'm going to try to remember that name. What's up? Misako. About Suichi. There's something wrong about his family. None of his family members were home. I feel very uneasy about it. I was wondering if Sachi-san knows anything. Hmm. You want to take a look at her work diary? Yes. That would help. And well, she's taken a sick leave again. Maybe you can visit her. See if she's doing okay. Probably not. Probably traumatized by whatever she saw. Alright, so my battery's halfway, so I'm gonna have to change it soon. Once it starts blinking red... Oh, well, there's something now. Once it starts blinking red... I can't grab that. Okay, finishing my sentence. Once it starts blinking red, I'll switch it out and use another battery. But the other battery's kind of crap, so I might have to, like, wait another hour to do, um... I don't know. I guess another transition, Sachi's patient diary. Day one, just a normal day at Suichi's, but there's one thing that bothered me. The house kind of smells. Where is it coming from? I should try getting rid of the stench tomorrow. You know, it could be his urine. I didn't know Suichi suffers dementia. He doesn't talk much, if not at all. If this is, this is odd. He was fine yesterday. Maybe his symptoms are starting to show now. I pray he will be doing okay. Family members were supposed to be at home today. They called us the last minute that they can't make it. It's just Suichi at home today. I really wish they'd let us know sooner. 
Oh well, I shouldn't complain. I tried taking out the trash again and used the air freshener. Doesn't seem to work. The house still reeks of something rotten. I mean, the house does look like a freaking hoarder house. When I arrived today, Suichi wasn't at home. Turns out he was living on the ground outside. What's going on? I also hear scratching on the walls and banging is on the ceilings. I tried checking where the sounds were coming from. Nothing's there. Ugh, the smell again. I just can't put my finger on where the smell is coming from. Everything about that house is driving me insane. The house is super dirty, of course it's gonna smell bad. The room in the second floor, what was that? Grandma? Why are you here? What are you doing? It can't be real, right? I feel cold. Maybe I'm just sick. I shouldn't go to work tomorrow. Hmm, interesting. What happened to Suichi's? Something's wrong with Sachi-san. I have to go visit her. I can go now. From what I heard, she lives nearby. Oh. I almost forgot about the collected cards. <laughs> Another cute one. Let's see if we can get the medicine now. That has to be there for a reason. Or maybe we get it next time. Maybe after I talk to her I can get it? I don't know. Now, from what I remember, Sachi-san lives nearby. She should be living in the tallest apartment building in this area. Let's see, tallest apartment buildings. I saw a really tall building up there. Must have been an illusion. Oh no, I'm not alluding. Okay, yeah, right here. See if there's like any uh, cards anywhere around here. Oh, that's too bad. So I don't have a flashlight, though I could use the inventory as I said. How do we get into this building? This looks like I would get robbed right here. Hmm. So I guess there's no way to get there. See if there's any cards. Yep. See if there's any more. <laughs> oh yeah, I wasn't finished talking about the whole career stuff. I wasn't even... I didn't even talk about it. I just brought up spring break. So yeah. I'm basically doing my associate's degree. But I don't have to. The teacher even told me himself. If you want to be a personal trainer, you don't have to take this path. You just go to the American Council of Exercise. And that takes like, what, six months? So, I could become a certified personal trainer by fall. How exciting could that be? I'm going to take it this summer. See how that goes. Hopefully I pass the exam and uh, become certified. There's one. Hopefully it's not as boring as that class, too. Like, the exercise science class is interesting, but a lot of the discussions are really boring. Like, they bring up a lot of terms that I'm not even familiar with because a freaking 75-year-old is explaining it. And he's using, like, the most technical terms I've ever heard. Like, freaking postprandial, whatever. Hypoprotein. I, I don't know. Lipoprotein, not hypo. <laughs> it's like, I haven't learned any of these terms yet. So he was, like, confusing me. I didn't even really know what to write because I had to, like, make a summary of his podcast and that was ridiculous. Anywho, hello. Is there any cards here? Nope. Hello. I won't let you pass. Um. Do I know you? No. Does that mean I can pass? No. You have the same uniform as the girl who lives here. That means I can't let you pass. What? What does that even mean? Why? I don't even live here. It doesn't matter. You have to win in the game of rock, paper, scissors. Then I'll let you pass. Huh? Rock, paper, scissors? Are you kit? Shut up and listen. Or I won't let you pass. Alright, fine. Are we sparring or are we actually going to play rock, paper, scissors? Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, this is like the typical anime humor. I, I don't know. I guess I just take whatever. Scissors. Ah! 
I lost. You're pretty strong. Okay, let me reiterate. Are we sparring or are we actually playing rock, paper, scissors? What did we just do? Ah, however, you really thought I'd let you pass with just a game of rock, paper, scissors? Think again, loser. But you said, all I need is one thing. I know you have, I know you lot have them. I know you do. Have what? Bring me the drug. Oh, is this one I'm going to go to the medicine cabinet? Stop playing dumb. I've been getting it from your friend. But she's acting weird lately and won't give it the dang thing. It runs off like a psychopath. You say that. Bring me the drug. And I'll let you pass. Alright, I'll do that. Oh yeah, by the time we go to Anime Week in Atlanta, hopefully I do go. And it doesn't cancel last minute. I can bring my Takiko Shibuki pot. That's one thing. I'll be a certified personal trainer. It's, it's going to be really exciting by the end of this year. At least I hope. I wonder how the whole pandemic thing is going to hang out by that time. Hopefully it eases down. Kind of gets really annoying. Alright, yeah. So we're going to get this medicine. Let's see. We typically go to Target while we're out there at AWA. So I'm not really sure what to pick up there because I haven't gone to Target that often. But I mean, straight out the bat, I mean, I know I could just make kanji. Lean beef kanji. Depends on my goals on my, like, weight loss journey. Typically by the end of summer, I'm like around 140. Maybe I had to try to maintain it at that point. Try not to go too crazy unless it's the weekend. I gotta find a plan on how to maintain my weight. I'm kind of terrible when it comes to that and the weight gain. Because sometimes I gain a little bit too much weight. It's because I don't track calories when I should. Anywho, here's your medicine. Or drug. Yes. This. This. Ah ha 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 ha. Wow, there's a bunch of weirdos in this game. I don't need to go there now. Well, well we need to go here. Now, let's see. What is her apartment room? Is that at the end like it always is? <laughs> it always is in the end. It's a freaking outlast. All the doors are locked except for the end door. Alright, take your shoes off. That's the polite way to go. Something here. Two things here. A cuddle and a box of tea. What's the brand of the tea? I guess we'll put it onto the stove. I'll also put the tea in here too. And uh... Hi there, Sachi-san. So you're alive after all. But well, you look traumatized. Sachi-san? Are you okay? Oh. I'm okay. I just feel... cold. Do you want me to get you some tea? Yeah, that would be nice. Alright, I mean... It's still boiling. Oh, it's already done. <laughs> I wonder if my Shibuki pot's gonna be that quick. Alright, so uh, here's your tea. Yes, I would give her the tea. Or, well, let's see if she has any like cards hanging around. I really prioritize on these cards, but <laughs> I want to see what happens if I get them all. There's one. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Cat. Ah, I don't see any more. Maybe there's one in our closet? No? I noticed that throughout this game you clip through a lot of things. And you clip through like the freaking hanger pole. Are you alright now? So cold. Don't worry. I think I just caught a cold. Hey, Sachi-san. So I came here to ask you something. I read your work notes and... What happened at Suichi's? But what happened to his family? Why? Why, why, what? Why? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. It's because I'm in charge of taking care of him now. Get out. Get out! 
I don't want to get involved anymore. You know, you're expressing anger through the dialogue, but you don't look so angry to me. I would have loved it if she was angry, though. Can you imagine the animations? <laughs> Anywho. Well, we can still interact with all this. Or at least it says so. Is there like a card inside the tea box? Maybe something is maybe in here. Nope, I think we're done with cards. Alright, so this place is deemed useless now. Guess we just head out. I wonder what Saiti san's deal was. I don't know, I'm just guessing the dialogue that's gonna go on next. Oh no! What have I done? I think I just gave her some bad tea. No, I'll avenge you, Sashi-san. I'll give whoever you bought that from at Amazon a one-star rating. Awful tea. I wonder if she bought, like, chamomile tea. But it was actually rewritten, and it's actually called Camel Toe Tea. <laughs> okay, anyway. I'm done messing around. Anything new here? Nope. I don't see anything glowing. And, uh, yeah. I guess we're done here. Oh, well, can we open these doors? Well, it just leads to the back, anyway. Like, what's the point? Well, what about these rooms, though? Can't just access them. Rasaka's not here. Interesting. Where's everyone? I have to get Suichi's. What is this feeling? I feel like I should hurry. Wow, this is like a dramatic scene. It's like raining hard too. Why don't you just take the bike? The bike just has been sitting here for days. It's like no one's touched it. And it doesn't belong to Rasaka, so... I mean, you could just take it. It's not locked or anything. Would have made this trip a lot faster. But I guess we'll just run there just to be more dramatic. I can already hear, like, Ganondorf music playing right now. You know that music that plays at the end of Legendary... Legendary? Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Plays this, like, really intense music as you're out to go save Princess Zelda. Oh no, I gotta go save her real quick, or I'll be too late. Alright, we are here. Let me close that door real quick. Why did the rain just get louder all of a sudden? Flashlight's here again. I'm not sure why I put it back at its spot. I don't know why I didn't just keep it. I wonder when we're going to interact with that. Uh, let's see where he is now. Did he hang himself? Can he even hang himself? Was he influenced to hang himself? I don't know. Like, what is his capabilities? Yeah, still, I don't see a card anywhere. I hear rats. And it wants me to do something here. Rip the mattress. You know, for caregivers, they don't take a good care job of, like, the freaking house. They only take care of the old man. It's a little sad. Anywho. So, uh, we got what? Van key. Okay, we'll go to the van. I thought we got, like, some sort of treasure key or something. I just saw the term key, and I just thought, yeah, let's open up with that treasure chest. Alright, so, uh, let's do our job. Okay, we got a car jack now. Kinda odd. Go ahead and, uh... What are we doing with this? The package is open. Take what's inside? No! That belonged to Suichi! How dare you, Naomi? That's so rude. Okay, let's go ahead and get a car jack crane. Wait, what are we gonna do with all these items? 
It's like, there's no point in using it on the van. Like, the van's already, like, busted. There's, like, no point to any of that. Or does it go to this? Uh, these doors are stuck somehow. Maybe I can use something to force it open. Uh, like the car jack handle? Uh, yeah, and use that. Is this why he had to order it off of Amazon? I think this is the construction worker's fault. They're the ones that set up this door. Blame it on them. <laughs> if anything, you could have just got that for free and let them fix it. Are they allowed to do that? I don't know. Not really sure if there is any, like, law behind that. Anywho. Let me turn off this fan real quick. I think it's making some noise and it's kind of intervening with the commentary, making some static sounds. All right, we got a uh, fine slender crowbar. Bloody note. Good fortune comes beneath the floor. So the treasure box. Let's see, there's got to be a note here. <laughs> Every time, every time you enter a new place, you gotta figure it out. Alright, so, we're gonna have to find a way to open that up. So, I already found a couple of, uh, cards in here. Good things comes from beneath the floor. Oh, that? Strange. So, he had something secret down here this whole time. Go down? Yeah, sure. I gotta continue finishing my quest to finding all of these cards. Okay, it seems like it's gonna be really complicated down here. But there's gotta be a card down here, too. Someone's been here recently. I think the candles have been lighting up for this long. Can't expect it to be locked for that long. Sawichi. Something behind him. He's the one who set this place up. That vile creature. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I don't even know where I'm at. Oh. Hmm. It could have easily been a card right there. I don't see a card here. I don't know how I feel about going down there. That might be a card, actually, but let me continue looking around. Well, something I could click on there. I see the white dot. Like a total raven genocide. Oh, yep, the battery's red, by the way. Oh. You can see Naomi in the background. That's interesting. Can you move? Well, someone's been a big liar his whole life. <laughs> okay, I'm done with these stupid jokes. Alright, so is this one? The time of the deeds have been engraved to an elderly clocks. The mother got stabbed while preparing dinner, and the clock stuck 3.30. The girl was strangled when she was coming back from school, and the clock stuck, struck 8.10. The boy got pushed down the stairs, and the clock struck 5.40. The father pushed down from the window, and the clock struck 11.50. So I'm probably going to have to remember all of this. The gods will aid when the timepieces align. Alright, thanks for that. Now let's see if there's any sort of cards around here. I'll say a white dot, so I guess I am clear. So, so what are we going to start off with? So, this clock's word important after all. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. Who's that? That creeped the heck out of me. Especially the sounds that she's making. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to, like, 
pause this for a second. Plus, my battery's dying anyway. Uh, let's see. I gotta get out of here real quick before she comes after me. I know there's a clock in here. So this is at the entrance. Let me see what we should do with this. Okay, I assume this is the one with the 810. So... Oh! <laughs> Gosh, that freaked me the heck out. She just came out of nowhere. Ah, oh, my gosh. Okay, we'll use another clock then. But I have to do it fast. I guess we'll do this one. Which one's this? Maybe the boy got pushed down the stairs? That one's 540, so... Gotta do this real quick. Uh, 540, right? We'll just put that right there. Gotta wait for that lady to come around. There's also a clock right here. This is... Oh, I should have paused it first. The father pushed down from the window, and the clock struck 1150, so... This one's gonna be the 1150 one, I assume. Because it's upstairs, and it's talking about a window. Yeah, this is building some adrenaline, that's for sure. There we go. And where's that lady? She freaks me out. I gotta know where she is first, before I continue with my progress. Yeah, this one's the uh, 831. Is that eight or is this? Oh my gosh, are you still here? She was like hiding in the closet or something. That little sneaky little lady, you. 810. There we go. I wasn't too far off. Now we got this last one, 3.30, so I don't have to do anything with the hour for what it looks like here. So I just push that and then ka-ding, ka-dong, we did it. I'll be honest, that part was actually kind of intense. Like, I need to know where that lady came from. She just like pops out of nowhere. Oh yeah, I forgot the battery's dying too, so... I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here, and then switch the battery. Uh... Okay, I don't see the lady, but the box is right here. The religious dagger. I'm actually paranoid right now, even though like we're not messing with the clocks anymore. This lady, she just pops out of nowhere, I hate that. And I'm like, looking really fast too. <laughs> You know, you should be killing those rats instead of me. Lady. And you. Yeah, what does this go to? Does it go to this? Let's see. Well, I mean, I'm on it. Well, it doesn't do anything. I mean, okay. <laughs> I guess the dagger goes to that. Witchy. Yeah, we'll take him down. So witchy has been a liar his whole time. Hello. Thank you, young one. The curse didn't allow me to speak. I'm sorry I couldn't figure things out sooner. No, you did more than what I dreamed for. You gave me a chance. Now listen. The raven is after me. It is using my wife to complete itself. Your wife? I thought she passed away. The raven can interact with the dead. He has coursed her soul back to this world. The condition for the summoning is... For the dead to perform the ritual on the person she loved the most. Now, you must save my wife's spirit. But how? Her bone box is in the altar. It should be sealed tight with a red string. Get out of the house, and the demon will back away. Okay. Use to this. It should cut through anything. You have a good soul. I trust in you. Scissors. You tell me all I needed was just some petty scissors to cut that. 
You can't use a knife from the kitchen to cut that. I mean, okay. <laughs> Whatever works for you. <laughs> Suichi, I just want to be with you. I'm sorry. You gonna attack me? Oh no, she stabbed her neck. <laughs> I was right to be freaking freaked by her. You have a card? No, she don't have a card. Probably sliding it right under her neck. Nope. No card. Anywho. Yeah, we're gonna cut these with the scissors now. I cannot believe that. Like, you could have, like, taken anything to cut that. But I guess to be fair, I haven't seen any sharp objects around. Unless you consider glass as part of it. Anywho. Oh wait, it's over here. What am I doing? Yeah, cutting this with scissors. And now, we got the bone box. See if there's any, like, card in here. Can you imagine? That'd be so disrespectful. <laughs> Have her bone box in there with a freaking collected card. I mean, it could be the final one. I mean, that's sort of special, right? Oh, it's you! Um, okay, we can't go that way. Wait, I'm sorry? What are we doing? Is this a puzzle? Gotta find a way to get out of here? Uh, it's starting to get too dark. I can't see where I'm going. As a matter of fact, I'm just going the same way. <laughs> okay, it's too dark now. I can't see anything. I died. Oh, shut up. Oh, don't tell me I have to start completely over. You about to upset me. This is... Oh, okay. <laughs> We're good. That would have really pissed me off if I had to start completely over having to deal with the clocks and all that again. Like, you would have no idea. Yeah, I already know this is going to get monotonous, so... Hopefully I can complete however I'm going to complete this. I have no idea if I'm even making a dent. Like, how do I know if I'm progressing? I guess I'm out. Good. That was actually my second attempt. I thought it was going to be like super monotonous. I had to do this over again. Alright, sweet deal. We're out of the house. We got the bone box out. I ran as fast as I can. Just when I ran out of breath, I saw a small, worn-out building. It is an old temple. Just looking at it made me feel its history. I looked back. The Karasu Tengu was gone. Did I lose him? I decided to enter the temple. I saw a monk chanting. I was hesitant to disturb him. But he must have felt my presence. He slowly turned to me and stared at my bone box as he walked. The monk spoke before he let me speak. Here, give it to me. I handed the box without a second thought. My hands were still trembling from the adrenaline. If you were a little late, the poor woman's spirit would have suffered a great deal. I was relieved. So we too was right. It seemed that his wife, Howery, was unharmed because I took the bone box out of the house. The monk then told me to bury it in a grave before it attracts anything else. He helped me do so and he gave me offered a prayer of protection for me and the couple. I also prayed. Prayed that Howery is safe released. So we choose to be as far away from the foul spirits as possible. I'm happy that Howery finally had the chance to watch over Suichi over the other world. But where did the Kaurasu Tengu go? If he is gone for good? Either way. I had to make sure that Soichi does not have to go back there again. A few days have passed, 
and I decided to still take care of Suichi. It's a nice sunny day. We're going to visit Howry's grave today. Now we've had our moment of peace. I could finally greet her. Oh, I wasn't expecting a cutscene. This is a new way to go about with Chilla's Arts games. So it's nice to see this. They should do this more often with their games. But they probably will anyway. <laughs> it's Suichi. What is that dang megaphone? <laughs> Oh? What a shame. He was already gone the moment you stepped into the house. What a shame. Oh, so this turned out to be a bittersweet ending. Okay. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this playthrough of The Caregiver. So as far as the occupation goes, both Sachi-san and Naomi are both terrible caregivers. They didn't take care of the house at all. They just only took care of freaking Soichi. But it turns out, you know, it was already too late for him. He was Mr. Mute. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll talk about how the game went. It's easy to clip through objects in this game. Like, if you clip too far, you can actually get stuck and you have to start the game completely over, and I hate that. So yeah, could be some improvements, but you know. They're constantly updating this game, so you got to give them credit for that. As every time I want to like start playing this game again, they always like freaking update it. It's like I've been meaning to play this for a while, but every time I come back, Steam always has to update it. It's not like a long update or anything. It's only like 14 megabytes. Anywho, aside from that, really enjoyed this game. Really enjoyed the story too. I mean, it's too bad it was already too late. But I mean, oh well. I mean, the dude was like pissing himself anyway, so why do I even care? <laughs> I mean, for the most part, I'm pretty sure like him defecating himself and all that was making the spell. I feel like it's kind of overcompensated. <laughs> I mean, the house probably already smelled bad as it is because it was already dirty and like filled with rats. Like, you could have considered that. What if the elderly man, Suichi, was afraid of rats? That makes you show that you have to clean up the freaking house, you caregivers. Terrible caregivers. If I was actually there, I would clean up the house. How dare you girls? Didn't even think of a second to how I care for him in his house. Just him. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Um, not sure what else I'm going to record next. I know a lot of people are like, oh, play around the clock. I mean, I don't know if I'm in the mood to do that. <laughs> I mean, I know it's like one of those challenge horror games. So I don't know if I can keep up. I mean, you can just leave that all to Jay. Jay's going nuts with those uploads. I don't think I can keep up with that. There's like a lot of levels from what it looks like from his uploads. I mean, other games too. I mean, there's like... There's another game called The Dollhouse. Not a very popular one, but... I mean, it's short. Could get a quick one out there. I don't know, maybe I'll just finish a bunch of my homework for the weekend so I don't have to worry next week. And uh, I guess post another video whenever I can. So let's see how many cards we have. Oh my gosh, we're missing a bunch. Actually, not that much. One, two, three, four, five. Where could they be located? I can't find them anywhere. If they're on the sides of the most pointless areas, I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> But yeah, anywho, I guess that's going to end it. I don't know if I'm going to come back to look for all those cards, but uh, yeah. Enjoyed this game overall. I think it's worth the five bucks. So um, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. And I'll see you all in the next video. Stay awesome, Kitty Sabers.